Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. Uh, my name is Karim and uh, this is a tutorial on uh, an app called Documents by Riddle. <coughs> uh, Documents by Riddle is a free file manager uh, and also uh, this is the, the description uh, of Documents app on the App Store. And you can see here, um, Documents is a fast document viewer beautiful media player, powerful file manager, and you can use this app also to read documents and annotate PDF. So, um, this uh, to me is a very, very useful app uh, because uh, when you start using iPad for uh, some time, you will uh, start to uh, collect a lot of uh, files in the form of PDF uh, and uh, other file format. And uh, if you have hundreds or even thousands of files on your iPad, you need uh, an efficient way to uh, manage your file, just like using uh, Windows Explorer on, on uh, Windows. Uh, this, this app is very, very uh, useful to help us to manage files on the iPad. Okay, let me launch this app now. All right, this is how it looks like the first time when you launch uh, documents, but uh, yours probably will look different from uh, mine because uh, I have already created uh, a lot of folders uh, on my uh, in the documents app. What you need to do is to your to, to link the documents app to your Dropbox or to your cloud storage. So you can see here on the left hand side here under network, I already have um, I have already linked documents uh, to my cloud storage there is a cloud uh, there is a, a Google Drive here and also a Dropbox so to link documents app to your uh, Dropbox um, here uh, go to network you just tap network here and you can see already on the on the right hand side here I have two um, cloud storage Dropbox and Google Drive and um, if you want to add your own uh, Dropbox or Google Drive or any other cloud storage you have, just tap on the Add Storage and here you have a choice of uh, cloud, common uh, cloud storage. Uh, Dropbox here, Google Drive, or maybe Sugar, SugarSync, Box, SkyDrive. So these are some of the uh, common um, cloud storage. And of course we have um, uh, cloud me cloud me yeah uh, uh, if you have iCloud from Apple you can see here on the uh, left hand side here you can also link to your iCloud so it says here to keep your files up to date across all your iOS devices copy or move files to this uh, section uh, I'm not using my iCloud um, and I don't link my iCloud storage to my uh, document app here because I have only you know, a very limited amount of storage in iCloud. Okay, other things on the left hand side here, you can see um, uh, if you have opened uh, files on the document app uh, previously, you can see some of the recent file here. So you can have a quick access to some of the recent file you opened uh, recently. And on the top here, uh, you can see there is a um, search button here. You can search for any file in Documents app very quickly. And here, the wheel icon here. So when you tap on the wheel icon here, so these are some of the uh, settings that you can change here okay so I will uh, close now for the time being all right so let's look at how this document app uh, work so anytime you want to go back to the uh, file manager you can just uh, tap on the documents and it will show you all the uh, folder that you have. I have plenty of folder here. 
and some of the file here down here uh, these are PDF file I have not uh, group them or put them into a, a folder okay um, on the top most uh, in this app you can see there's a plus sign there uh, this is actually to create a new folder so that's how you create new folder so let me tap on that and here you can put in the uh, title of the folder then after you done you have, after the, you've done that that um, you just click done um, and you can view the folder here by a folder view or a list view you can uh, change the view as you wish this view the folder view but I prefer the list view and you can uh, arrange the folder by size or by date the re most recent one or the latest one uh, I prefer to have the latest um, file that I download um, or I view on this um, by the latest uh, first and followed by uh, so you can see my folder is not arranged alphabetically here so how do we bring the file from let's say uh, cloud uh, from the Dropbox into this app into documents app so for example let me go to my Dropbox here so it takes some time to fetch or to display the file on the Dropbox so one thing that you have to remember the file on my Dropbox so this is actually a file on my Dropbox how do I know you can see from uh, here network and this is the name of my Dropbox okay, you have to know what is the name of your Dropbox so now I'm, I'm actually looking at the folders and files in my Dropbox in the cloud so this file actually uh, is not on my iPad uh, and I can only access this file if I am connected to the internet Whereas, if I go back to my uh, documents here, so now you can see on the top here, you can see documents. So now you know, I know that I'm looking at folders and files in my documents app on my iPad. And all these files and folders now are accessible offline even without internet connection so that's a difference okay so the um, the good thing about documents app you can bring in all the files uh, that you need to uh, read or to work on on the iPad and these are all accessible offline but of course it will take up space uh, on your iPad so you have to decide what files you want to bring in to your uh, documents app alright so I go back to my uh, Dropbox and now let me show you maybe uh, you know um, how to bring in the file from let's say I'll go to one of these uh, uh, folder here okay let's say I want to bring in one of these files uh, let me see okay let's say Laporan here, this file, Laporan Bombay Statistics. So it's a small file, 333 uh, kilobyte. You can see the, the file size also here. And uh, so, uh, in order to, 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 in order to uh, download this file to my iPad, to my Documents app, uh, I will click or I will tap on Edit here. Okay. Then you get now to choose which file that you want to bring in or to download. So let's say this file. So I just tap on that. So that is the information for the file. So we can see here the blue uh, button here. So now on the left hand side you get a choice here, download, delete, rename. So I want to download this file from my Dropbox now on the cloud to my iPad. So I will tap on cloud now and say are you sure you want to replace file 
uh, because uh, I already have this file on my uh, iPad on the iPad uh, document app so that's why it says replace so yes I want to replace this file so now I have this file now open already download and open in my iPad so if I tap on back here can see here I'm now in documents app on my iPad and I am now in this folder called iPad workshop file and this is the file that I just uh, download can see here 7.34 a.m. yes this is 7.34 a.m. now in Singapore I'm in Singapore now so I can go back to just tap on the documents here and I I am now in my documents app on the top level uh, how do I know I'm on the top level of my documents app because you can see here documents on the top here and these are all my folder and this is the folder iPad workshop file here and inside here I have all the files and this one this is the file that I just downloaded just now so that is how to bring the file from your Dropbox. Um, but sometimes we receive the file from um, uh, email. So let me show you how to open the file from email. So I, okay, this is my email. So let me just find one. Let's say PDF. But of course, you can um, open any type of file in a uh, document. You can open PDF, PowerPoint, uh, audio file, video, even video. Also, you can open in uh, the file in and save it in Documents app. I have one here. Whoa, big. Okay, there's a small file here. No, I, I don't want to open it. I want to, yes, I want to. I just tap on this file. Just tap with your finger for one second. Then already you can see here open in documents or of course you can open in other apps on your iPad so in this case I want to open directly in and bring this file in documents and there you have it this documents now is open in documents app on the iPad so now I just tap on back here and back to my documents app and where is the file so you can scroll down and if you remember the name of the file just now this is the one Lamperan 4 here and you can see the time 7.37 pm and that is how you bring in the file from the Dropbox and from the email of course you are if you are look if you are reading uh, or working on any file in other apps as usual we can also open the uh, file by using open in in uh, documents app okay once the file uh, uh, already in in the in this app what can we do uh, in terms of the file management so okay let me show you how to um, i have shown you how to create new a new folder up here okay this is how to create new folder so when you go into a folder let's say I have a folder called teaching learning here so if I tap on and open that folder you can see here I am in the teaching and learning folder and I have subfolders in here so you can actually create as many subfolders as you like uh, and let's say I put or I, uh, open this folder so now I am interactive lecture folder in teaching and learning folder so this is how you can track where you are um, so you can now see I have plenty of uh, PDF folder uh, file here and I can just simply uh, open any of this file and it will display in this app of course from this app you can open this uh, file in another app as usual 
Okay, let's say I want to change the name of the file. So this is the file management part, what you can do. Um, so in order to in order to do that, uh, just uh, tap on edit button on the top uh, right hand side here. And once you, uh, then now uh, we get this, let's say I want to change the name of this uh, file. So I just tap on and choose. And one, once you choose the file, you can you get a few things you can do here. You can copy the file, you can move the file to another folder, you can star, star means uh, this uh, make it favorite file, you can so that you can access the file uh, quickly in, in the favorite uh, uh, folder. You can rename the file, you can even zip the file. So let's say I want to zip two files together, so I just choose let's say this file and that file together. So we have two files now and you can zip them into one file you can delete the file you can mail the file so you can mail one or more file or you can upload the file back to uh, the dropbox you can create a new folder so these are the few things you can do actually um, in terms of the file uh, management um, for example, let's say I want to move these two files to a different folder. So I choose these two files uh, and other file, um, if you like, and press on move here. And now you can um, move them. Let's say I want to go to another folder and I can can now tap on any uh, folder here and tap on move so that's how easy uh, to move the fo uh, the file from one folder to the other folder so these are among uh, some of these uh, file management that uh, you might want to uh, learn um, it's very very convenient um, I guess I will uh, let's uh, very briefly about uh, documents and how to use this to manage your file. Give it a try. Thank you.